Steven, your completion percentage has jumped up 15 points over last year already. How much of that is attributed to Coach Roper and, and, and the, the, guy, the job that he's helped you learn the defense? Because he says that's been the biggest thing. And how much do you attribute to, to some of the footwork and mechanics that you've, that you've developed? Yeah, I think it's a combination of everything. I think Coach Rope has done a phenomenal job with all the quarterbacks here and just kind of getting them to understand the game plan, understand defense, understand what we want to do with the ball. And so I think that's where the completion percentage comes into, into play. And then, I mean, just the footwork and stuff, too, kind of just is, is all the timing, all the timing that we have in the offense and all these passes that we throw. So I think it's just it's, it's a combination of all things, really. I know a lot of these games were well before you were here, but since joining the Pac-12, Colorado not only has never beat an SC, and they've never beaten them ever, but I think SC's outgained Colorado in every game, outrushed Colorado in every game. Yet you guys are coming off a performance that might have been your most impressive physically in recent memory. How key is that physicality going to be to beating the Troj Trojans on Saturday? Yeah, it's going to be real key. It's gonna, the physicality is going to be huge for us. And then, um, I mean, USC has historically been a really good team. They've been, uh, I mean, two years ago they they won a Rose Bowl. So, I mean, they've they've been a good team. They are a good team, and that's how we're preparing for them this week. We know that uh, when we go in there, it's going to be a dog fight. But I mean, we're excited for it. We. Uh, we hope to make the game physical and um, and hopefully get some success. Can you take through, uh, take us through that play, the thirty yard touchdown pass on the left side to Lavisca on Saturday? It seemed like you you guys kind of shared a look um, before the play. How how and, and you just knew automatically where you're going. How much of that has come over, you know, this last year? W would that have been s something you would have recognized last year? Yeah, I, th I think I would have recognized last year. Last year, I think we uh, we kind of struggled hitting the deep ball. And uh, a lot of the times it was me. I was overthrowing or underthrowing receivers, and we had some guys open. So, uh, I mean, I think this year we're just doing a better job of hitting the D ball. And then on that play, I had seen it was the, the uh, single. It was a single high safety, and the corner was pressed, so there was no chance of getting cloud or anything over there. And so, I knew Visca was going to beat him just because that's what Visca does. He's he's really really quick off the line, really fast, really strong receiver. So it's tough to tough to tough to guard him. So. Saw him, saw him open, and uh, we completed it, and it was good. I know you've given a lot of credit to the offensive line, but how much does having a guy like Trayvon in the backfield help to take the pressure off your shoulders? Yeah, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. Trayvon's a really, really good back. I mean, he's he's killing it right now, so playing well. And he lo he loves the pass pass block as well when we pass the ball, so he kind of he does it all for us. He's really good. So is Kyle Evans. Kyle Evans does a great job as well when he goes in there. Colorado has never beaten USC, and even in the, the McIntyre era now, they're – there's still kind of this domino that you guys have been unable to knock off since uh, the, the rise season and last year, of course. Do you personally take that into account returning to, to L.A.? Is this, is this a bigger game, a more of kind of a vengeance-fueled game at all? Um, I mean, I think we've, we've never beaten them. So, I mean, that's just that kind of right there is a little bit of a motivation, a little bit of motivator. But, I mean, we, we go into this game just like we've gone into these past five games. We come in. We we put in our work in the in the week and then hopefully we uh, we play well on Saturday. So it's just it's another game for us. It's just the next team on our on our schedule. Hey, a two part question for you, um, Lavisca. It seems like every week he does something different that we haven't seen. How high is yeah. the ceiling? And the next question is, can you get him to talk at all, or is he that quiet <laughs> you guys? I mean, he talks. He talks in the locker room. I'm. I think he he does a good job. Um, but yeah, this guy. I mean, he just. <sighs> He's and this is kind of a kind of a crazy comparison, but he's kind of just like LeBron. He like just constantly keeps getting better. And you think like, all right, like he's already played this well up to now. Maybe he'll kind of have a slower game or something. And it's just never like that. He just keeps just doing more crazy stuff and just keeps getting better every single week. And I mean, I think that's the scariest thing about him is because what do you think he's gonna do this week? So when he's running the wildcat. No, no chance, no chance. They don't want to throw me the ball. My hands, I don't really, I don't know if I have faith in my hands. So, uh, no, <laughs> I just, this has got the ball. All right, cool. That's cool with me. This has got the ball. Good things are probably happening. Oh, yeah. He can throw it too. I mean, he's, he can throw it like for a receiver, but he can throw the ball. Like, he knows how to throw the ball. So does KD. KD knows how to throw the ball really well. Those yeah. Texas boys, tell me. No, no, no chance, no chance. Okay. I was going to ask you something else, but 
let's stay with Visca. How cool is it to be on the same team that with somebody that's you you use the LeBron thing, just better than everybody else? Oh, and, I mean, it's and, and, and how intimidating is that? I mean, you're a pretty good athlete yourself. <sighs> I mean, I'm okay. Um, Visca. <laughs> Like, Visca is just, it's, I mean, it's cool for us on offense, obviously, because he's a huge weapon and we, we use him a lot of different ways and he kind of does it all. And that's very intimidating for a defense because I'm sure they're thinking, how are we going to stop this guy? How are we going to try to contain him in this game? And I really don't think you can because he can just do so many different things. He can beat you at receiver. We can put him at running back. We can use fly sweep. We can just we can do so many different. Put him in wildcat. We can do so many things with him that it's just so difficult to stop him because he's just he's an animal. He's just a great ball player. He knows the game and he's very very good at it. Steven, you've been on the field twice in your career against SC. And at the game last year, it seemed sitting on the USC side of the stadium, like they just had a lot of hooting and hollering and bravado. And it yeah. just got me to thinking, do you think Southern Cal respects Colorado? Um, I mean, I think, I think that, uh, that USC has a lot of confidence because historically they have been good and they're good year in, year out. So, I mean, I think they, they should be confident because they, they win games and they do well. Um, but I mean, I think I think we're a confident team this year as well, and I uh, I think it's going to be a good game between the both of us. Steven, I wanted to go back to one more thing on on Kurt. Um, were there when you guys first sat down and, and started going over like how you were going to learn the defense and the, the kind of things he was going to teach you? What were those initial conversations like? And, and do you remember any kind of like light bulb moments of of thinking I'm going to really start to open the floodgates with this stuff? Um, I mean, I think the best way to describe it was literally just like students in class. Like, every, right when we knew we came in, we knew that he knew his stuff, and we knew that if we listened to him, that he was going to teach us a lot about the game. So we would have our notebooks out every week, writing down notes, writing down notes, whatever he said, just writing it down, writing it down, writing it down, just listening and just kind of being like a sponge and just taking in all the information that he's given us because he knows the game. He knows the game better than anybody I've ever met. Oh, definitely, definitely, <laughs> most definitely. Um, but yeah, and I mean, the light bulb moment, I think, I think every day when I talk to him, I kind of have like, oh, wow, that kind of makes sense. Like, that's why that happens. Or, and it's, it literally happens one, like once every day, just because he's just constantly te teaching us something new about it, about the game, about fronts, about run scheme, about just a anything, anything about football. Okay, this is what I was going to ask you before. My, my colleagues here have already mentioned a couple of times you've never beaten USC. And that was just the idea of the bravado on their sideline. At kickoff, or when it's third and 12, does history or swag matter in a game? Their history, their swag? No. No, I don't think so. I think every year is a new year, and so Anybody can be beaten at any time. And I think that's kind of how we looked at every single game we played so far. And um, I mean, we know that we can be beaten as well, but we understand that if we put in the work throughout the week and we work hard and we study film and we do all the right things in the week, then on Saturdays, we should be feeling very, very confident about what we're doing, which is going to allow us to play fast and play smart. Steven, with the way LaVisca's playing, uh, Katie's kind of having a a pretty good season quietly. Oh, yeah. Can you talk about KD and, and how good he is and, and what he brings to the team? I know he's a different personality than Visca as yeah. well. Just, can you tell us about KD a little bit? Yeah, I mean, KD, KD, KD is a great football player as well. Um, the, as you guys know, they're both from DeSoto, Texas. And DeSoto historically has some very good football players that come out of there, and they're both very good football players. KD is just so fast and so shifty off the line, then when, he, when he's even with somebody, he's going to run away from him just because of his speed. And I, uh, I think that we use him in a lot of different ways too. Sometimes you'll see him at the wildcat position and using him with fly sweep. And we, we kind of use him the same. But I mean, Visca is just a little harder to bring to the ground just because he's so big and so strong. But I mean, KD is just so quick and so fast and that it makes it hard to guard him. And he knows the game too. Appreciate you guys.
Have a good day.